Safety for young people online and in the real world was the theme of a one-day takeover of 8th Junior High School last week. Virtually Safe, Virtually Sound saw young people come together from across the secondary school and cluster primaries, covering topics such as internet safety, anti-bullying issues and developing positive relationships. On the day, we spoke to school pupils to get their thoughts on the workshops they were attending. Yeah, it's quite good. And, uh, I learned how cyberbullying quite a lot of before. And it's been good and I've learned a lot. I think I have learned some things and they were really fun as well. Like, I really enjoyed the drama, it was really good fun. I have learned some things about uh, on Snapchat and I think it's pretty good that they're doing this in our school. I uh, found them to be quite fun and I've learned a bit we uh, see up. Uh, I learned a bit how uh, you can get an app to save photos we thought you know and, and stuff like that. We also asked them a simple yes or no question. Do you think cyberbullying is a problem in schools around Shetland? Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 After the event, we spoke to Kate Gabb, Lead Officer for Adult and Child Protection, about how the SVS came about in Shetland, and also Deputy Head Teacher James Garrick about why Aeth got involved in the project and how we thought the day went. The SVS started back, I guess, in early 2015 when we had a conversation with uh, colleagues in youth work services in schools because we were aware that we were getting a lot of referrals coming in through the child protection system relating to young people being unsafe online and out of that came a plan to um, set up um, some sort of workshop, some sort of information days for young people but we wanted young people to be part of it. So in autumn of 2015 we recruited our first set of volunteers and we had our first virtually safe virtually sound day at Islesborough in the December of that year um, and actually the name virtually safe virtually sound came from that group of young people that wasn't our idea um, it was their idea um, and from then we've gone on to offer workshops around uh, all the junior high schools um, and also to start and do some work with parents and parent councils. Yes well there's plenty of issues to do with online behaviour that affects youngsters both in and out of school and the two can get quite blurred sometimes and uh, this, this opportunity here was a great chance to get kids out of the classroom getting involved in different activities. It was a nice varied day but it allowed them to think about the real issues of the day and think about their behaviour and how it impacts on others and how it impacts on themselves as well. Well I think it's been absolutely brilliant. The conference format with the youngsters uh, producing the material for people going in with their lanyards and their little packs and the way the day has been timetabled with such a good variety of things going on it's been really good it's allowed people to consider some of the wider issues on behavior and impact on themselves and others both through um, I guess really entertaining ways through the uh, improvisation sessions which kind of allows people to relax a bit and, and, to, and to have a bit of fun but at the same time the drama sessions thinking about some of the deeper issues that's involved and then of course there's the educational side the CEOPS uh, sessions, the anti-bullying sessions putting across good messages but in an accessible way to the kids and uh, I, think, I think examples like putting toothpaste out the tube and not being able to get it back in again crumpling a piece of paper, can't get it back to a blank sheet so once you've bullied somebody it's never quite the same it's really good stuff <laughs>